conducting functional test with a Magnex, page 51. This is the golf course, an area that has been cleaned by Schoenstedt on medium to low settings because of high magnetic grounds. And then it was scanned again by the Valens, uh, mineral setting, mineralized setting at setting seven with maximum 14. Every ferrous and non-ferrous item has been removed. Uh, this is the magnets and we're gonna perform now uh, that test. So we arrange for a magnetically uninterfered test place and this is our first challenge that we cannot find uh, in this clear area anything magnetic and I'm gonna demonstrate. Uh, it says to check the battery voltage, which they're brand new batteries, and I've already checked, so this is fine. And then select sensitivity level five. So I'm gonna be selecting at level five. You'll notice that the needle is over there. So now we have to uh, do the adjustment, compensate, and being totally positive, I have to turn it uh, clockwise and keep rotating the knob, you see here, until basically it goes to zero. So now it has calibrated, but you will notice with the slightest change, so this was the original position that I calibrated. Now, if I move, it goes again. So again, I turn the knobs clockwise to calibrate it, to bring it to zero. But if I move again, here, I have to use it counterclockwise to bring it here. Let it move again. So you'll notice it doesn't matter what I do, the I stop at this point here, I, I go counterclockwise. With the slider movement, I have to be complete still. Because if I move the detector here or here, a matter of literally inches, and you'll see the ground, it goes crazy. So if I move to the positive and I move it clock counterclockwise or negative so I move the calibration clockwise it doesn't matter because if I go back here it's going to go everywhere and whatever I walk you'll notice that there is no ground anywhere that I conduct so the magnets according to the 5.4 functional tests it's impossible to meet the requirement uh, of number one to arrange for a magnetically uninterfered test place and this is the best thing so I'll be just going to be walking so so goes between positive and negative constantly and it seems to be most on the negative side. So again, I'll calibrate it again to zero. But then again, I walk around and now it's positive. So I'm going to calibrate it again to zero. And this is, this is if I'm completely still. If I move anywhere, we go into the negative, and then go into the positive. I take steps. Uh, I have placed, so as I walk now, so this is yard one, yard two, yard three, yard four, okay? So for a full yard here, 
I get no readings. But if I turn right or left, okay, so we seem to be in a relatively stable ground here. So I'm going to compensate for this area to bring it down to zero. So keep rotating. Okay. And then again, with the calibration again. But it's impossible, like right now I'm calibrating. I'm not calibrating, I'm just rotating the machine to come to zero. Now if I move right, or if I move left, So if I move here, I have to calibrate again. So I have to go, I'm turning the knob now, the calibration knob. But if I go back to my original position, it's gonna be off again. So then I'm going counterclockwise to bring it to bring it to zero. But then I'm moving back to the original. So practically, this ground is so mineralized uh, where a Schoenstedt, probably because of its reduced sensitivity, can work. But this thing here, now, you notice the 75 millimeter round. I'm gonna walk over it. And you'll notice, you know, I may, between the different grounds and passing it over the 75, you make a quick jump. And now if I move myself parallel to this, you'll notice the polarity as I'm moving between the, muni the different ends of the munition. But then, so it does, whatever I walk, it goes like this. So basically, uh, functional test 5.4 cannot happen.